today we're going to be doing a quick run through of the new UI or user interface. Basically, we have gone through and rearranged and streamlined the experience to make it even easier to access, look at, browse around, and work with our parcel data. So this is gonna be a quick tour of that. First thing to note is that if you click on a given property, uh, the property information pulls up, same as it ever has, nothing has really changed there. I'm gonna work uh, clockwise around the screen, starting in the bottom left. So bottom left, we've got our toolbar, which is now expand and collapsible. Most of the tools within it are the same as they ever were, so I'm not going to spend any time talking about them here, other than to point out that we have done a really nice uh, addition on the style tool. You'll see there's a new section here and you can click on a given color and then use our color picker setup to change the parcel colors to whatever you want. Uh, the top one refers to the default colors you saw here just now. Then we've got the hovered parcel and the selected parcel. So those are all now totally customizable by you. You can always click to reset to default with that option if you would like. The other thing to talk about on the toolbar is that we've moved the project settings here. So if you're working in a project or if you want to start a project, all those options live under this uh, pane. We've got the sharing settings, new project, all these things. Uh, you can click on the drop down to change between projects that you have uh, in your account, um, your project home. And then down at the bottom, you see uh, your focus areas section. So if you want to add or remove focus areas, that's where you do that. Moving around to the top left uh, is this regrid dropdown. This is now where the account and user info lives. Uh, you can get back to your dashboard if you would like from here, as well as all these other things. Uh, notably, you can also click to revert back to the old UI if you're encountering issues and you feel you need to. Worth noting there that we would actually love it if you would use the feedback form to let us know if you do hit any issues because we obviously want to get those fixed. We are very confident, I would say, in the current function, but if you hit an edge case, we'd love to hear about it so we can get it fixed up for you. If you're not signed in, uh, you would be prompted to sign in up here. Um, and if you are signed in and you obviously want to sign out, you can do that as well from this drop down. A couple other things to note quickly. Uh, so now we're at the top center. Uh, this is where we've moved the breadcrumbs. Uh, if you mouse over it, you can see the breadcrumbs pop down here and you can use them just like you always did. Uh, a nice thing that we've done additionally here is if you sort of pan the map to somewhere else, you'll see that the place actually updates to accommodate that. Uh, so that's a slick little thing that we were able to include in this update as well. Top right, uh, search bar, same as it ever was, same functionality as we've always had, so nothing really has changed there except now it's up in the top right. Uh, and then down in the bottom right, we'll run through these fairly quickly. Uh, this is the help uh, menu. You can access some help materials here as well as our super comprehensive support uh, site. Um, you can see this video tour if you want to watch it again. And you can also contact uh, support and open our chat there if you need to get in touch with us. This crosshairs button is a locate me function. Uh, note that if you click that, your browser may uh, ask you to allow that before it'll work. Um, you should see that up at the top of your screen if you do click it and get that prompt, but otherwise it'll zoom you right to where you are. Uh, we've got the zoom in and zoom out features, which do exactly what you'd imagine. And then down at the bottom right, we uh, were able to introduce this sort of pitch and, and shift, I guess, tool. Uh, so what you can do here is uh, you know, pitch and shift. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you're moving things around and you want to go back to sort of a straight top down view, simply click on that button and it'll reset your view. Finally, we have a much improved visually layers tab. This contains all the same things that we had previously. It also includes uh, boundary options if you need to change your sub boundary type or get rid of them entirely. Uh, the rest of this is exactly the same except we've got some nice pictographic things going on here. Street and satellite base map. You can choose what labels you want to have, uh, as well as your parcel dimensions for the parcel you click on. And then we have all the additional layers that we've always had. Uh, we're looking forward to adding some new and exciting ones here shortly, but for now, you can access and use all of the good ones that we already have. That's about it. We uh, hope that you're enjoying the new UI as much as we are. Uh, and again, don't hesitate to get in touch if you have any feedback for us. We'd love to hear it.